Sages, welcome back to my channel and welcome to all my new people as well. I do appreciate you guys being here with me. Thank you for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes as well. It definitely does help the channel out by you supporting and happy solar return to my Sages out there. And I hope that you are enjoying your birthday season and that you're making the most out of the solar return. But let's go ahead and jump into the reading itself. The first two cards that we have, we have the Strength card and we have the Empress card here. So already two major Arcanas or Arcana is showing up here. And resilience is being rewarded is what I'm hearing. Your level of strength, determination, focus, irregardless of what's being thrown at you is what's being rewarded or seen by the universe by your spiritual team by whatever you believe in uh also with the strength card with the empress you're tapping into a new level of maturity by you hmm how do i say this you could be tapping into a new level of maturity by being aware of what you say and what you do and how your actions could affect things following after what actions you decide to take, you're also being more reserved in terms of what you say during this time frame. You're more so sitting back, analyzing situations around you, especially with the romantic situation or connection here. You could be deciding to take this approach of, okay, let's see how this person is going to move towards me and what their intentions are and not being in the space of trying to attract or chase this situation just more so being in a space of doing you and naturally this person could be or new love could be trying to come in also with the business like i said the more focused you are the more money you could be making you could be finding yourself finally making money in certain creative endeavors that may have had like just to slow up in energy or sales or customers okay we have the ten of wands as well as the seven of cups so there could be certain grudges that you've been holding on to that you're finally in a space of trying to make sense of or clear out this could be maybe a grudge towards the person you may have kids with or a grudge to your recent ex or just a level of resentment with how that situation may have played out whether that's like towards your ex or just towards the situation as a whole and you could be experiencing mixed emotions around that. Some days you could find yourself never wanting to talk to your ex again. And in other days you could find yourself open to maybe communicating and, and getting peace of mind in regards to that situation. There could just be a level of confusion that you're needing to sort out. Also, you could find yourself overwhelmed if you have too many moving parts with some sort of creative idea. You could be dreaming big, especially with Neptune going direct, I believe on the third. You could find yourself very idealistic or <laughs> thinking about the big picture, right? But putting too much on your plate and having too many moving parts to where you can get overly consumed. Yeah, you could find yourself being overly consumed with putting just extra tasks and, and extra stuff on your plate to where you just don't have a sense of direction. So spirit is asking you to go back to the go, go back to the plan that you may have set out coming into this month and maybe tweak some things and, and be more realistic. You could also find yourself really overwhelmed with the confusing connection that you have with someone. This could be someone who lives long distance, possibly a Pisces, in regards to the zodiac sign. You could be very overwhelmed with the moving parts to a connection, a friends with benefits situation here with someone. Either they're giving you mixed signals or you just don't really know how to feel considering the fact that this connection has just so 
like I said, so many moving parts. But with the High Priestess, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck, your intuition is going to be on a bean. So if you have this gut feeling, this gut wrenching feeling that maybe you need to stop talking to someone, maybe that you need to do something, you need to listen. There could also be someone who secretly wants to maybe get back with you this looks like a pisces cancer scorpio somebody here is secretly admiring you from afar as well they could keep tabs on like your social media what you're up to all that okay let's continue let's continue sages what's the energy around my sag someone rising in venus placements for the first half of December. So we have unlimited possibilities. So yes, spirit wants you to dream big, but also make sure that you're not putting too much on your plate or that you're putting so much of a high expectation on yourself that if you don't meet that expectation, now you're a failure. Now you're, you know, you're not good for nothing. Like you just start to beat yourself down. So be aware of where you're putting too much on your plate and where are you not dreaming big enough? For some of you, it's actually the opposite. You could be dealing with this fear of opening yourself up to unlimited possibilities and actually seeing what's out there. And maybe there's this internal fear of you doing this and succeeding and then having to confront the guilt connected to you not doing this a lot sooner, for example. But let's continue. We also have boundaries. And we have destiny. So you could be finding yourself more in tune spiritually with. How do I say this? You can find yourself getting more in tune spiritually by doing readings, by getting your palm read literally. Uh, so there could be a lot of like divination stuff that could be a focus for you during this time frame. But also that. Boundaries is something that you could be realizing you need to put in place, especially if you have somebody who knows that they can just cross your boundaries and just do whatever they please and, and come as they please. Then this is going to be the time frame where you're like, no more of that. And there could be some destined conversations, destined events that transpire during this time frame. So pay attention to what happens. Now, let's pull a final card. What's the advice? For my Sagittarius, so the advice card, we have healing or not healing, hearing inner guidance. And it says, my intuition flows whenever I am still. So this goes back to what I was saying about the high priestess. Your intuition is going to be on a beam. You just need to make sure that you are listening, that you are open. And my ear is ringing right now. Okay, so pay attention to the downloads that you're receiving. Also, this is making sure that you're not ignoring your gut feeling just because you have curiosity, just because you are scared that maybe your intuition may be wrong. Whatever the reason may be, make sure that you are listening because if it's something that you can't ignore, something that you can't shake, ten, nine times out of ten, you're inner knowing is trying to speak to you but this is what i see i hope that this was helpful if it was definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe and i will see you in the next one sages